Oh, I finally got my hands on this, the mozzarella fritta, basically. Welcome back, fun fam. And if you're brand new to the channel, welcome in to follow the Bradley's Fun. My name is Ron E. Bradley, and I hope that wherever you are, you're having a phenomenal day. Speaking of the day, today is the 16th day of February 2024, and it happens to be the last day that I can make it out to the 2024 Epcot Festival of the Arts. They're getting ready for Flower and Garden, as you can see. So come along with us and follow the Bradley's Fun! Looks like they're finally doing something with the old Starbucks location. I don't know how long this has been open, but this was the temporary Starbucks location. Now it's called the Swirled Showcase, where they have soft serve delights. I will definitely be by here later. This is the Pop Eats booth or kiosk, and it has my absolute favorite thing, the Tomato, it's tomato soup, but it's with the pimento cheese bacon and fried green tomato grilled cheese. Oh my gosh. Pimento cheese, bacon, and fried green tomato grilled cheese. And this I haven't seen before. Rock the Ducks. White chocolate and orange mousse. I might try that as well. So but I'm saving it. I'm saving it for later. All right, here's a perfect example of that preview of things to come for Flower and Garden. This goofy topiary. I'm sure he's, you know, thinking to himself, Oh, gosh, look at all these flowers. I'm surrounded. Heck, I'm even made of them. Boy, these make me feel kind of goofy. Oh, gosh. And we've got more Flower and Garden flowers planted over here around the water. It's coming. It's almost time. So this is weird. I'm in Epcot. I'm, a, I'm in Epcot right now. This is something that you shouldn't see in a Disney park. A half-smoked cigarette. No, there's no smoking allowed. So I don't know where this came from. Oh, I got the chance to get off my feet and take the friendship boat over to Morocco. But I'm heading over there to Italy because there's something I want to eat over at Italy. It's a mozzarella. Thanks for coming in and checking us out today. Hey, if you wouldn't mind, give us a like. That thumbs up really helps this uh, uh, vlog get out to a lot more people. The more likes we can get, the more people we can get, the more information people can get about Disney World. Isn't that great? So yes, give us a thumbs up. Like if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and click that notifications bell. That way you'll be notified of every one of our uploads, whether it's daily, weekly, or in between. Thanks so much for coming in. Fresh off the boat. Let's go. So crowd-wise, I would have to say this is probably the busiest that I've personally seen Epcot all year since I've been out here. But, you know, I don't get out of here every day. So who knows? No matter what festival is going on, no matter what time of the year it is, the Fife and Drum Tavern is always open because if you want to come and get your turkey leg at Epcot, this is where you get the turkey leg from. Just so you know. We have a pop-up character meet and greet today. Unique characters you don't always see. You've got Tigger. You've got uh, one of the country bears. Geppetto. You don't really see Geppetto a whole lot. Mr. Penguin from Mary Poppins. Thank you, Aubrey. Aubrey has, Aubrey has enlightened me. Which bear is that? That's Big Al. Big Al. Yes, from Country Bears Jamboree. Big Al is over here. Geppetto's over there. Wait, I got one. Here. Go ahead. You can take some pictures. Here. For sure. <laughs> oh, good thinking pose, Geppetto. 
Oh, y'all look wonderful. Oh, yes, grab those glasses. Love it. Love it. <laughs> no. Your nose looks perfect. Got to see Geppetto. Got to see Mr. Penguin from Mary Poppins. What did the poo and tigger too? Tigger, tigger, tigger. It's always fun, uh, you know, when this happens, the, the pop-up character meet and greets. So it's, it's not usual. Um, I will say that, that because there's a lot of character attendance out there, clearly taking notes, I hope, I wish them all well. I wish them all well. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think these might be more flowers set up for flower and garden as I see more and more popping up everywhere. But we are now finally in Italy. I've got to go find those fried mozzarella ball art thing that I'm looking for. The weather, by the way, is perfect today. This is where I am heading. The art of mangiare. The art of mangiare. Molto bene. Looking, looking at the mozzarella frita. I've been wanting it the whole festival. I haven't had a chance to get it yet. So here we go. Le arte di mangiare. Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Flavorful baroque cuisine prepared with rich color and dramatic flavor. And like I've always said, if it's not baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> Mozzarella frita. <laughs> Oh, you would be a baby? Let me see. Arte and this is what I'm after right here, that mozzarella frita. Still a bit of a line. Oh, I finally got my hands on this, the mozzarella frita. Basically, it's just fried mozzarella, but it's got all these different sauces. We're going to try them. We're going to see if any of this is good. Table opened up. It's amazing. That never happens. Got it right here. We're going to eat this thing. There's really not a great <laughs> way for me to do this, but I'm gonna bite into it and uh, let's see how it tastes. Mm. Mm. It's just fried cheese. How can it possibly be bad? Let's taste the different sauces. Oh my gosh, it's good. All right. I know the festival's over, but this dish is a winner. I should have had it earlier. It's very, very good. The second best thing I've eaten outside of the toasted cheese sandwich, which I'm going to get later before I leave because I want one more because then it's gone for a year. Let's try this. All these sauces, they're all good. And I'm, I'm gonna finish. Yummy. By the way, we ate that in Germany. And over here in Germany, you can see the topiary coming alive for Snow White and the single dwarf. The other seven will, will come up, but with the Snow White topiary for a flower and garden festival is here with, of course, my wife's favorite, Dopey. <laughs> so over here uh, in Italy, is a photo pass photographer putting you into some of Italy's most famous paintings, the screen, the Mona Lisa. Let's see how mine turned out. Here's another one, George Washington crossing the Delaware. Let's see how mine turned out. Looks like people are coming into the American Garden Theater for the Disney Broadway concert series tonight. 
something that I have surprisingly no interest in, even though I have done many musicals myself in the past. There it is. One of the most famous sights in all of Epcot. The Kingdom of Morocco. But really, it's just Epcot. Over here they have the Enchanted Kitchen. Vibrante Vivido Encanto Cocina. Muy bien. What do they have over here? Vibrante y Vivido Encanto Cocina. Chorizo y patata empanada. Passion fruit filled mango cheesecake. That's okay. But I eat empanadas a lot, so. Not for me, not today. This is probably the closest we're getting to Mirabelle in this vlog. Bienvenido. I rent in Vivid Arts of Colombia. Oh, there's, there's Mirabelle. Mirabelle, say hi to Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Mirabelle. While these flowers probably have very little, if nothing, to do with the Flower and Garden Festival, I just think this one is really pretty, and I put it in the vlog for my wife, Virginia. Off in the distance. And I'm going to close up to it so you can see. You can actually see the Disney Springs balloon all the way from back here in France, in Epcot. No. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Bienvenue à France. I'm considering sticking to the cheese theme of today and getting something from La Art de Cuisine Francaise. Here at La Art de Cuisine, La Art de Cuisine Francaise, they have a creme de brie and patrie pain. Warmy, cre war uh, warmy, warm, creamy brie in a house-made bread bowl. Look at this. It's just cheese and bread and everything that could not be worse for me, but I think I'm going to go get it and eat it. The Brie Bread Bowl from France. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, this is how they have it pictured. Oh, yeah, I've scooped out the bread, put in the Brie, and I'm gonna eat this thing. Actually ended up with a pretty decent spot to sit to eat my Brie. So let's see, uh, let's see how this thing tastes. Time to dive in. Probably mostly the bread. Let's see how good this brie is. First of all, it's very delicious. Second of all, I'm impressed that it's still warm because it kind of waited for like 15, 20 minutes to find a, a spot to eat. So the fact that it's still warm, really, really good. I'm pretty happy with this trip uh, and the food on this trip versus the last trip to Festival of the Arts. Of course, this is the last day that I'm gonna to get to come to the Festival of the Arts because um, I'm locked out the next three days and the next thing that happens is Flower and Garden, but I'm excited for Flower and Garden. One of my favorite festivals coming up. I'm gonna eat this thing. Let's just dive in, dip in. You can dip this right in here. Look at this. Mm. That is delicious. <clears throat> the food here, I mean this time, so much better than last time. So I guess my tip uh, for for the Festival of the Arts is 
get cheesy things. Don't get meaty things. The meaty things have all sucked. Cheesy things have been good, though. Still see that. Ooh, look at that cheese. The only way to really finish this off right is to pick it up like this. It just is what it is. Mm. Really good. Tell you what, these little guys are hungry. They keep hanging around looking for stuff. Looks like Tinkerbell is here for a flower and garden. I don't think she's here all the time. I think this is a flower and garden thing, so she's up. And even more topiary is over here in the UK. You've got Winnie the Pooh, and uh, you've got rabbits, and Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore. Hello, Pooh. Very cool. More flower and garden. All put up already. Oh, I see some more. We've got Peter Pan topiaries over here. Here's the, the famous croc. Crocodile. And over here you've got Peter fighting Captain Hook. Pretty flowers underneath, too. A few more topiaries over here. For flower and garden, you've got Bambi and Thumper and somebody remind me in the comments what is the name of what is what is the name of the what is this thing called? Skunk. What is the name of the skunk? It's Bambi Thumper and the Skunk, but somebody tell me in the comments what is the name of the skunk? It's one of the coolest things about Festival of the Arts is actually seeing the artist at work. This is Taylor Summerlin, Summerlin like the Summerlin of Las Vegas where I used to live. I did say that I was going to return to the Pop Eats festival booth, right? Well, I am. So here I am. In this long line, just to get a grilled cheese sandwich. But it's not any grilled cheese, it's the best. You know, this time around I haven't tried a single festival dessert, so I think I'm gonna get the dessert over here and give that a shot as well right now. Huh? Might as well. Dinner and dessert. Pop Arts famous dinner soup and the pimento bacon and green tomato Pimento cheese, bacon, and green tomato grilled cheese sandwich. And for my own treat, look how cute that is with the little Minnie Mouse and she painted the orange chocolate cake thing. So this should be good. Let's try it. And yes, for the record, I walked all the way over from Pop Eats, which is over by Canada, to the Land Pavilion. Uh, so you got Living with the Land right behind me. And I just feel like it's the most appropriate place to enjoy this pimento grilled cheese sandwich. Also, it's just, there's nobody around, so it's great to sit here. Shall I? I think I shall. Mm -hmm. Coming over. This cooled off a little bit, temperature-wise, but because of the the spicy heat of the pimento still tastes great. Still my favorite thing to eat at the Festival of the Arts. And that's why I'm finishing off my Festival of the Arts 2024 season with my favorite thing to eat. It just makes sense to me. By the way, uh, this is made to be dipped into the soup. So, Mm. This is the winter comfort food of winter comfort foods. So good. I need to figure out how to make one of these at home, seriously.
Time to try the cake. Let's see how that works out. Here we go. It's very creamy. Might be a cheesecake type of thing. But it's good, and it's the only dessert I've had for the Festival of the Arts, so. Not bad. This reminds me of uh, when Drax talks about cake toast in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Cosmic Rewind ride. Uh, this is like not cake toast, but cake mousse. It's cake mousse or mousse cake. Either one. I don't know. It's good. Oh, wow, that was good. Um, you know what? That's it. I'm going to call it a night, guys. Thanks for coming in. Uh, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Be good to everybody. And uh, we will see you real soon. Ciao, everybody. Bye.